whatever makes you smile in life, you need to do more of. For me, spending time with family and friends in remote, off-the-grid places like this and cool cars has always brought me a lot of joy. And ever since Jeep took a muscle car and a 4x4 and smashed them together, I have been thinking about it a lot. A Jeep Wrangler 392 and the possibilities, oh, so exciting. And now that I have the keys to one, I can't stop smiling. Now before I show you the Jeep Wrangler 392, we need to talk about the Jeep Wrangler 4xe that I traded in for this. And for somebody that flips vehicles often, even having a vehicle for only five months is a little extreme just for me. I really wanted to love the 4xe, but it just wasn't for me. I think there's a very specific audience that the 4xe is perfect for. Somebody that's got a 20 to 30 mile commute every day, that wants to go hit the trails on the weekend and wants an electric vehicle, I think it's perfect for. For me, for a long range vehicle, for overlanding, for hitting the trails for long distances, it just wasn't fitting the bill. It has a smaller fuel tank, and after you exhaust that full electric mode, the fuel economy, well, it was a little underwhelming. And that trip that my son and I did out in Joshua Tree, where one, I wasn't getting great fuel economy compared to the Bronco, and two, I was getting all kinds of check engine lights, and it was telling me it wouldn't go into 4x4. It was a bit frustrating. Now, come to find out, those were some ABS codes it was throwing, but it shouldn't have been doing that. And so that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. That Jeep just wasn't making me smile. Not like this one. I have been smiling every time I get behind the wheel of this Jeep Wrangler 392. And what we're gonna do today is Regina and I are gonna head up the trail. We're gonna get to a little overlook where we're gonna give you a tour of the 392, show you some of the things I've already done and what I've got in store. And then we're gonna head way up to the tops of the pine trees and she's gonna cook a little lunch. Today is gonna be a great day. Well, there's another Jeep in the driveway. <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on, this is the best one yet. Sure. I mean, I, you even like driving They're it. all the best one yet. Well, okay, all right. <laughs> but I honestly, I loved the Gladiator. And I actually kind of regret getting rid of that. The diesel I thought was going to be long term. I thought I was going to really have that for a long time. Yeah. But the overheating issues was a problem. The 4 by e I don't think I really fell in love with it. But this thing. Come on. I know, you haven't stopped smiling. You like driving it, you even took I it. I do. The first week, I think you put more miles on this than I did. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I just need to make it a two door, all yellow. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm worried. I think I think people are gonna be like, Brad, you're going through a midlife crisis or something. <laughs> no, this is an all life crisis. Ever since I've known you, you've had more cars than I can count on my fingers and toes. You just make me happy. I know, you love your babies. Okay, I'm sorry, I was teasing a little bit with the camera on the way up here. You didn't get any full shots of the new Jeep Wrangler 392, but there she is, and yes, it's in red. This is a 2022 Jeep Wrangler 392 Rubicon with the Extreme Recon package, and it's got that V8 under the hood that makes 470 horsepower and 470 pound pita torque, and when you step on that gas, oh my gosh, the rumble from the exhaust just brings a smile to your face. 
Guys, I haven't been this happy to own a vehicle in a long, long time. Now, there are lots of 392 reviews out there. In fact, Marco and I last year had the opportunity to drive some pre-production 392s, and we talked a lot about the specifics, and I will leave a link down below for that video. I'm not gonna get in all the details, but I'm gonna talk about some of the cool features, and I've had it for about three weeks, and I've already started making some modifications to it. So let me just quickly give you a tour around. Yeah, isn't she pretty? Of course, we're gonna do a 392 review. We gotta start under the hood. Now, one thing to note on the Jeep Wrangler 392's hood, as you can see, it's much larger. That's to accommodate the big engine that they had to stuff in here, which wasn't designed for a V8. And you've got this air intake, which also allows for water to pass through. So you have this, what's called a hydroglide system. So if you are passing through a river and you get water over the hood, it will allow water to pass through, but still take in air. Now. Because of that hydroglide system, this hood is very heavy, but check that out. I installed some struts on here. Those are about $99, but they're worth every penny. It really should come with that because without that, lifting up this hood is pretty difficult. Now, this is a very clean engine bay. I've only had this off-road three times, but uh, look, it's, it's a work of art. It's a thing of beauty. But here's the thing about the Jeep Wrangler 392. I don't think this is gonna be around much longer. Jeep's already talking about a inline six twin turbo hurricane engine that they're gonna start implementing in lots of vehicles across the Chrysler lineup. And I think that this is a, just a prediction. I don't know for a fact that this someday may go away, someday soon. So this could be a collector's item. I don't think this is something that, uh, that I'm gonna be flipping for a long time. I'm having way too much fun driving it and having a V8 under the hood of a Jeep has been something I've been wanting for a long time. It's emissions legal here in California and yeah, it just makes me smile. I can't stop smiling, guys. All right, not getting crazy up front. I'm still using the stock bumper, which I have taken the end caps off and course we've got the bronze tow hooks but I have installed a 10,000 pound worn winch with the factor 55 uh, link on front but I did install the KC highlights FE4s and uh, these things are amazingly bright I have these on the Ram power wagon and I'll tell you they are so good off-road and I put the amber covers on here because we're out in the desert and the dust all the time and well those are nice to have but uh, keeping it clean and simple up here I'm pretty happy with how the front end looks so far but we may be doing some other stuff here in the future, but right now, this works. Now, I mentioned that this is the Extreme Recon Package Jeep, and it comes with 35-inch tires and the Mopar Performance beadlock-capable wheels, which you see are not on here. So why did I bother going with the Extreme Recon Package if I was just going to pull those off? Well, those are great wheels and tires, and we're going to end up putting those on my wife's Jeep and doing a little bit of tinkering with them and make them a little more customized. So that's going to be pretty cool. Now, these are 37-inch BFG Goodrich Mud Terrains. I love these tires, and uh, we wrapped them around some Method bronze wheels because I had to go with bronze to match the little bronze accents. The bronze and the red, I think, just look so good out here in the sun. Man, what's not to love about it? I think it's really nice. Now up here you will see on the hood there is an antenna and I've already mounted a GMRS radio inside a Midland GMRS. Very similar to what I did on the Bronco and if you haven't seen that video, the easy install, I'll leave a link down below for that one as well. So now we are not lifted. The, this Jeep comes with a one and a half inch lift already out of the box. So these 37s are probably gonna rub just a little bit, but we'll sort that out with a new suspension here in the future. But right now, Right now it drives great down the road and it does pretty well out here on the trail. So what's the plan with the 392? Well, I wanna take this on some long trips across the United States, going to some amazing destinations and getting after it on some trails. In just a couple of weeks, we're gonna be at Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, definitely going to get after it a little bit with this thing. Now, I've already done a few things here, but I've got some other things in store. Now, I have put the tailgate table on here, which I love this table, and we have these available over at trailrecon.com. And right now, I just have a fridge and a power pack and some gear back here, but I saved all the stuff from the Jeep Wrangler diesel that I'm going to pull the back seats out and install all that stuff in here. That way, I can stay nice and organized and have everything I need, plus my kitchen, and just be ready to go. So we're going to be doing a lot back here. I will make sure that we film that in the garage as we're doing that install. But that's that's the cool thing about the goose gear is if you go from one vehicle to the next you can take that stuff with you 
So in the 392, there's a few things that separate it from other Wranglers, starting with the bronze stitching and the 392 badging on the seats. And there's more bolstering in these leather seats, which make them much more comfortable. The steering wheel is a little thicker and more aggressive, plus you've got the paddle shifters. Otherwise, it's very similar to a regular Jeep Wrangler in here. Now, I've carried over a lot of stuff that has worked for me in the past from one vehicle to the other. So I have the 67 Designs mounted up here with my iPad. I've got my Midland radio over here on the Jeep Unique mount with the Carolina Metal Masters bar mount right here. All that stuff works well. I've installed the hot head headliners in here, which makes it a little quieter. It reduces the heat in here on hot days, and I can put my patches up there. So that's pretty cool. But otherwise, it's pretty much just like a Jeep Wrangler in here. So there you have it guys. There is my brand new Jeep Wrangler 392. Now, for the rest of the day today, Regina and I are heading up that mountain up there. There's a beautiful overlook in the pine trees and she's gonna make some kind of cool pasta dish for lunch and then uh, we'll show you what the view looks like up there. Yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day to be driving that too. been all the way to the top of this mountain before. <laughs> no, I haven't. It's pretty up here, huh? It is beautiful. I love all the wildflowers and there's like butterflies everywhere yeah. and dragonflies. Yeah, spring's coming. It's definitely very green up here. For now. Give it a few months. Yeah, it'll dry out in the summer for sure. So, what do you think about driving this off-road? You've had lots of time <laughs> on-road with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I like it. It's definitely a little bit different than my Jeep, but I mean it handles really well, I guess. I don't know. It's a Jeep. <laughs> It does stuff, it goes over rocks. <laughs> it does do all that very well. Yeah. And, and how's stepping on the gas? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so when are they going to do this in a two-door? I'm sorry. Yeah. I, that up. <laughs> it would be pretty cool in a two-door, just because the two-door is lighter, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. I like stepping on the gas and having it go. Yeah. Well, that's this... why I like my two-door. I mean, that was, when I test drove it, that was kind of the criteria. I had to take it on the freeway and, you know, make right? sure when when I push the gas, they, it had some pep. Yeah, well, this does that well. It just doesn't have the same <laughs> turning radius as your Jeep. I know, so they need to make a two-door and all yellow for me.
to the top of the mountain and it is beautiful up here and everything would be perfect if somebody would have forgot the propane that would be me i uh i messed up lunch that's the problem with uh packing out a new vehicle i thought i had everything regina did a great job of packing all the food and uh we're not cooking uh, we're not cooking lunch today we're having parmesan cheese and country time Sorry, hon. We're living fancy. We're living fancy. But uh, it has been a great day out here in the 392. We've had a blast, and I cannot wait to get this out on some more adventures, start tinkering with it, and let's just go see what this thing can do. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me, guys. Make sure you head over to trailrecon.com and check out all our gear, and check out Regina's blog. Thanks for watching.